As of right now, Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers has gone into the dark abyss. Whatever you want to call it, he's away from the outside world for a while. Rodgers had this retreat planned supposedly and he went on the Pat McAfee show to explain the upcoming ordeal. Whenever he comes back, Aaron Rodgers will have a decision to make regarding his future. Speculation has varied from retirement, requesting a trade, or staying with Green Bay for another year. Reports are out there that the Packers front office is disgusted with Aaron Rodgers and that they are ready to part ways with their franchise quarterback. If Aaron Rodgers chooses to request a trade, he will have plenty of suitors interested in him. The Las Vegas Raiders and the New York Jets have been the two teams that could have potential interest in acquiring Rodgers. Las Vegas Raiders wide receiver Devontae Adams, who Rodgers was teammates with during his time in Green Bay had some fun with the Rodgers speculation when asked where Rodgers will play next season by giving this response on Twitter, the Jets hired Nathaniel Hackett to be their offensive coordinator. Who was the former offensive coordinator for the Packers? Those are the two teams with interest in Rodgers, but there is one team that I believe should look into acquiring Aaron Rodgers. The team is located in South Beach, believe it or not, Miami has questions about the quarterback position in regards to Tua Tagovailoa. Namely, Tagovailoa has a bevy of injury concerns that continue to linger. He has had issues staying healthy going back to his days playing at Alabama, whether it was a dislocated hip to multiple concussions he suffered in a season his health is a cause for concern. If Tua suffers another concussion, he should consider stepping away from the game of football. During the Super Bowl, the Miami quarterback said he is taking judo classes during this offseason. The reason for that is to help prevent any head injuries he might suffer while playing quarterback. Health is a major concern but so too is even his play at the quarterback position. Tagovailoa has talent as a quarterback but he isn't someone that can elevate a roster around him. Tua's numbers were solid across the board this season, but the reason for that success is the scheme that he was in and the weapons that he had in wide receivers Jalen Waddell and Tyreek Hill. Head coach Mike McDaniel is responsible for the success Tua had this season. If the Dolphins were to trade for Aaron Rodgers, the offense would be immensely better. Offensive line will need some improvement but the weapons Rodgers will have will be better than what he had in Green Bay. Miami is a playoff contender with Tua but I wouldn't consider them serious Super Bowl contenders. With Rodgers under center this team can be a legit threat in the AFC. Does Miami have the assets to pull off a deal to acquire Aaron Rodgers? No. But I believe that they can find a way to pull it off. As of right now, Miami is 23rd in salary cap which is under the league's average. Miami would have to restructure specific contracts and cut some players whose contracts are bad from a salary cap perspective. Restructuring the contracts of wide receiver Tyreek Hill and defensive end Bradley Chubb who they acquired in trades can help. Left tackle Taron Armstead can also be a part of the contract restructuring. As for cap casualties, cornerback Byron Jones is a strong candidate to be cut. Since being signed from the Dallas Cowboys, Jones has struggled to stay on the field and the contract he has signed looks like a disaster. Byron Jones is still a solid corner but the contract is a problem. With a post-June 1st designation, Miami would save $13.6 million and the dead cap hit would be around $4.75 million if they were to cut Byron Jones. If a trade were to materialize, it would be tricky considering Miami doesn't have the capital to pull this deal off. They don't have a first-round pick for this year since they traded one away when they acquired Bradley Chubb from Denver. Additionally, Miami lost a pick due to the investigation when the NFL found out the team was tampering with Sean Payton and Tom Brady to join Miami back in 2021 in an unethical way. Miami could offer two maybe two first-round picks for 2024 and 2025. A possible third and a fourth-round pick. A deal similar to what the Cleveland Browns did with Deshaun Watson, but include players in the deal. Dolphins fans might not agree with parting ways with this player, but I would include Jevon Holland in the deal for Rodgers. Holland has been a gem for the Dolphins at the safety position, and Green Bay is particularly strong at that position. His versatility and skill set could help Green Bay a lot. If Holland is untouchable, the Packers should look to acquire rising outside linebacker Jalon Phillips. Miami would be instantly better with Rodgers under center and the offense can reach new heights.
Rodgers' personality and a lack of commitment is a cause for concern but he is one of the best quarterbacks in the league, despite a down year this season. Miami should seriously look into trading for Aaron Rodgers and I believe they will inquire about his services if he is willing to move on.